Sup guys, let's do this. <laughs> What's up guys? Cloudy back again with a new reaction. This time we have Baby Metal Road to Resistance live in Japan. Uh, this was suggested by and we're supposed to check it out. Now I've seen a few uh, Baby Metal videos before. Uh, I saw a long time ago I saw the, the one about uh, they're singing about chocolate or something. I saw that, that was funny. Um, I also saw a video prior to that, and that video was called something morning uh, something. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. I think this was back in 2012 or 13. They were really, really young when they did that video, I, I recall. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's just check it out. What's up guys? Uh, sorry for interrupting, but uh, the video has been muted. Uh, that means that I can show the video, but no sound will come out of it. Not even my voice. Uh, YouTube has uh, muted the video. Well, not YouTube. Um, I got viewing restrictions from a company called Amuse Incorporated in Japan. Uh, they don't want the video to, uh, I guess, be played by other sources other than their own or something. I'm not sure how, how it works, but uh, they're monetizing the video, but the sound is off. Uh, I've done a few of these before and it it happened it never happened quite like this it's like your video is blocked in fucking 200 countries and stuff like that that has happened but never that they muted the video so they are allowing me to show it but you can't hear anything so what's the fucking point it's a music video right uh, anyway for if you wanna if you wanna take a look here's the it's a screenshot of um, uh, of what they sent me, as you can see, your video has been muted. So it's like a copyright of some sort. Uh, they are monetizing the video. You can see that monet monetization, monetized by claimant. Those guys, I guess, and it's muted in all countries. <laughs> yeah, so I don't see the point. Um, uh, I will leave my thoughts to the video, uh, if you want to hear them, I guess you could do that. Um, but I can't show you, I mean, it's, I can't play anything from it. Uh, yeah, so I'm really rethinking this uh, about reacting to more music videos, because it's, the, well, I'm okay reacting to some music videos. Uh, but a lot of mainstream Japanese stuff is really fucking delicate because they're just now figuring out that they can uh, throw um, uh, copyright copyright strikes. Not a claim. As I've said before, I'm okay with the claims. Just fucking monetize the video, do whatever you want to do. But don't give me a copyright strike. So I'm really, really trying to figure out a way how to, because I want to react to a lot of stuff, but I know a bunch of reactors are getting strikes for reacting to fucking Dragon Ball stuff or uh, One Punch, uh, One Inch Punch, what's the call, the, the punch anime? One Punch Out, <laughs> whatever. A, a lot of uh, YouTubers, uh, reactors mainly, are getting copyright strike from Japanese companies because they're figuring out that they can remove it through the content ID system that YouTube has. So yeah, uh, and it sucks because, I mean, um, this was suggested by uh, whoever and, you know, I'm sorry, I, I can't react to it. I can, but nobody will ever hear it in this case. 
So you see how this is a problem and I'm starting to get a little, little, little bit worried because I, I saw a video uh, the other day about a reactor. Uh, they shut down his channel com completely because he did like uh, Dragon Ball related parodies and stuff like that. So I am, you know, I'm gonna be a bit careful. Anyway, I will leave the thoughts on this. If you wanna check out the video, do that. I'll leave a link in the description below. And let me know what you all think about this. This sucks, I'm sorry, but this is the way it is. Thoughts? Yeah, uh, yeah, this was nice. Um, I don't, uh, I, I haven't heard this song before. But I noticed that it was kind of a ripoff to <laughs> the Dragon Force song. They had a hit a bunch of years back uh, through the Fire and Flames, I think the song is. If you listen to that one and you listen to this one when it starts, not the intro, but right after, uh, the similarities are there <laughs> for sure. Uh, this is cool, I guess. The whole kawaii metal scene, great. I, I it's not my. Th I don't. Yeah, no, not really. I mean, for me, I, I, I associate metal and that type of music with, uh, you know, a rehearsal space, uh, rehearsing with your friends, drinking beer. Uh, playing shows, you know, loading your gear into a van and just taking off. This is not really, I mean, this is metal, but it's, yeah, no, not really, I don't think. This is put together by some production group and they hire three cute girls and the, the two the two dancers, they don't sing, it seems. And they, I don't know, this is, I don't know how metal this is, really. Kawaii metal, sure, whatever. Uh, it's not. I uh, yeah, not 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 for me. I I don't as uh, yeah. Nothing against people who like them though. I mean they they're talented I guess and the production value is high. Uh, they sold out this place like at least fifth ten fifteen thousand people in an arena. I mean. They're really they're doing really well. I think they're playing Ozfest in Japan right now, actually, this year. So it's it's great. It's good for them, I guess. It just not for me. So yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you for the suggestion. Thank you for liking, commenting, and all that good stuff. You know, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you like this? Is this metal like really? Uh, yeah. Let me know what you think, all right? And uh, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one.